Another EMF experiment. Good call, Miles. Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. Glad these scientists can still work from home after the Foundation was destroyed. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. <laughs> now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Concert happening today. MJ and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Check. Oh, that's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. things blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. I'm <sighs> Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. Bridge is blocked. Oh. Gotta get over there somehow. will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Who 
new rats ate bees. Bee wolves, bees gone. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be realistic. Here we go. Look for the flax. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. I'm like a bee real estate agent. A real estate agent. Bingo. You've completed the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to Feed the Community, starting by improving our gardens. To help Please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Something around here. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. <laughs> this one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. 
Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Some webs should do the trick. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Got it. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? This should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Okay. Let's see what's the latest greatest in energy research. are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Port and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. This is really high. Whoops, gotta turn around. How can such tiny turbines create so much energy? We could revolutionize wind as a power source with these. Just imagine! Fly free, little turbine! been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've got to stop them. You guys again. I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. I have our way. And we won't have to. Oh, really? I'm in your way? Okay, 
Okay, that's all of them. Gotta get this turbine back in place. There, all up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. That's a lot of nesting boxes. Good Beale estate. Training the drones to identify predators like rats and people, so they can guard the bees nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bee bodyguards, Queen's edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's Bee. Good. This is... Uh, Unidentified predator detected. But not to be confused with Queen Bees. Whoa! Bird. It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Meropody albicollis, the white-throated bee-eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. Gotcha, birdie. Can't have you eating up the bees of queens. Or the queen bees. This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. Don't look like happy plants. Peter, I'm so glad you could help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. Water quality is crucial. I should analyze that. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Okay. You've got some kind of pathogen. What kind? Science, I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a 
happen? This one won't work. Gotta catch another. A perfect specimen. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. Greens, let's get you feeling better. I need to insert this fish gene. Let's see. If I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. can't understand me, but trust me, it's pretty cool. You're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. All right, let's help out EMF. Where's that kiosk? Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh, no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plants went. Good thing this pollen isn't triggering my allergies. Watch you! Ugh. Total coincidence! I refuse to be allergic! Spider-Man! Yeah. So why are we guarding a fight? He wants the plan! He wants the plan! that plant. Couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. 
Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant! Okay, now to borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. fit together. This should create a cassava that grows more quickly without sacrificing the yield. This is some cutting-edge splicing tech they've developed. Makes it possible to meet food supply challenges without sacrificing safety and transparency. Step by step, putting it together. secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. Okay, Dr. Young, bring it on. training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha. Another one down. Always nice to be flying around Brooklyn. Gotta love Prospect Park. Steal the drone? I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if I can figure out where it went. Uh, no sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. 
If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. No connection. Must not be this one. No signal. This can't be the place. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect the video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser boot. Let's kill two bees with one shot. I free them, and then they'll help me get that door open. They're all over the place! That's one of Get me out of here! Hey there! Let's meet our new contestants on Foot to the Face! Spider-Man! Control! Safety mode! Fly home! Alright guys, you gotta tell me. Bees? What? You never heard of knees, Mark? Give me a break, Spider-Man! A bee-laden arrival! Come on, fellas! There has to be an easier way to make money! Why do you even care about the bees? Do you know how many plants exist because of bees? They play a critical role in... You don't care. Nothing. We have to win. Cover! Shoot back! Whew, that's all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees, real or drone. You know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. this plants in a thumb drive they say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin but i know norman i think peter <laughs> i put this together for you because i knew when we got through this crazy time Whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, Gene splice them together. You might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay.
knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? something for you. We're in good health. Love you.